right, Sansa Ray. It's your turn again. You remember when I got my first stimulus check and I was making all those videos about you when you faked your death? I'm back, B. And the reason why I'm back is because you've been getting on my nerves a lot more. But I'm going to just do a little quick word of advice for you. If your target demographic is women, then why do you try to appeal to men? Every video you make, you got your titties hanging out. Right? I don't know. This is something about you that irks me. Like, you just want a... Let me just go and let you talk. And then I'm going to go on. Stop, Sonsory. How many times have you complained because you was dating a broke dude? If your titties look like a crack in a sidewalk, you need to stop. Come on, I know you got weave here stuck in the middle of your tits. I don't want to see them, and I know ain't nobody else want to see them. If you make a bisexual woman such as myself if you turn them off that's a problem you just don't do nothing for me i guess i'm not attracted to lies and insecurity i don't know she 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 didn't even believe that <laughs> She didn't even believe her. No purpose. I mean, shut up, girl. You lied talking about you didn't even qualify for a stimulus check because you made so much money. Well, if you make so much money, then why are you always online mad because saying that priests don't pay you child support? That you need fifty dollars. And how come every video you do is in your car? Cause you still an Uber driver and a Lyft driver. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But once again. You're trying to act like you. We'll do it. Just come on, listen. I always felt like I can go out there and get my own bread. And if it boils down to it, if I really need to, you know, get some real cash, I know what I have to be getting. I'm just. Gonna... I guess I'm just mad at you because you're about to promote prostitution right here. You used your children in your scam. Your daughter went along with saying that. She was grieving, and then you're gonna use Lil Justice with his cute self. You wanna use him to to get money, you know? Darn well, you won't buy no toys for that boy birthday. But but listen, Sanctuary is about to promote prostitution. I'm gonna shut up so y'all can hear it in context. Type of hustler, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna let. I'm not going to, you know, just be with a man so he can take care of me financially when I can take care of myself. You know, why would I need a man for that? You know, does it mean that in the event that something's wrong with me, I won't need a man to come in and, and save the day or whatever the case is when I'm a, I'm a damsel, right? I'm going to need some help from a man, okay? Or my friends or my family or something like that. And like I said, when I was pregnant with my son and the, the one man that I trusted abandoned me, all these other men kicked in the kid. Okay, so so it's as a woman, I just feel like because you I, need a kick in your chest. It took so much time building friendships with men. When it came time for me to actually need a man, I had. <laughs> Is that what they call a prostitution now? If that's one of the first things that you promote, I don't give a damn. It's building friends with men. Is that what they call hoeing? Seriously, listen to this. You know it's in her spirit. Like when we thought Melo was selling pussy and then she, she finally admitted, I could just, you know what? And I never thought I would say this. I respect young Melo before I respect you. Mm-hmm. Because even young Melo will admit, she'll just straight up say, I can share my pussy. Straight up say it. 
you want to act like you ain't a top dollar hoe, which you probably ain't a top dollar hoe. You probably making monopoly money for your pussy, but still. Your problem is that you still had eggs in your basket and you wanted to get pregnant with priests. Yep, I went to Tommy Sotomayor's video that somebody jacked it from a long time ago, right? And Priest was saying how when he was about to, you, you know, finish and he was trying to pull out, you know, the pull out method, you prevented him from pulling out. You about as bad as the people that when you trying to leave a parking spot at the Walmart and they're preventing you from pulling out because they're too afraid that somebody else is going to get that parking spot, you know, before they get a chance going there. When you get out of there, they're so close to you. A lot more. Speaking of parking lots, didn't you say that you and him was sleeping in a Walmart parking lot and you had to wash your pushy at a public in public at the bathroom in Walmart. Remember that? And once again, there ain't nothing wrong if you got to live that life. But it's something wrong if you talking about you make six figures and you washing your pussy at a Walmart bathroom. Like, first of all, how do you even... Walmart bathrooms have more than one stall. It ain't no little one little bathroom, big one, you know? How do you have time to wash your pussy before somebody else come in and try to get into one of them other stalls? Like, let me know. You neglected to mention that you got pregnant with your sub's father, what, within three months of dating him, too. So you know that. Solid months before I raised $10,000 to move to California. It didn't take long for me to get all of the money that I needed because of all of the friends that I had. And most of them were men. This goes back to another thing that I want to talk about while I'm doing this live stream. I'm sorry. I just don't like when hoes try to justify being a little thotty. Like, I, okay, I know how women say, I don't deal with women, and I have most of my friends are men. Okay, but this a hoe. She's a girl. So, you know, it's only, I don't want to hang around somebody that's always trying to have sex with me. Especially if I don't want to have sex with them. And that's how men are. That's why nine times out of ten, we hang with gay dudes or other women. And we know, come on, keep it real. We know nine times out of ten, if a woman is hanging around a man, they doing something or have done something or are thinking about doing something. If the man is straight. Let's keep it real. They just, I've had so many guy friends that. I already let them know from the gate. If I ain't want to have sex with her, yeah, 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 yeah. Our friends on no, you like your brother than me. Friend zone. But that didn't stop them from trying to dip their hand in the cookie jar. Come on now, you a hoe. Oh. A man said to me yesterday on my YouTube channel while I was talking about this whole Kevin Samuels uh, fiasco where he was telling this woman that she couldn't find a six-figure man when really she's a six-figure woman herself. So she's part of the 10 Why don't you work on... Your figure, because a lot of people are saying you are selling old pictures on your OnlyFans, too. Now, you know, that's a darn shame. That's like selling expired milk on Instacart. And that is false advertising. And we need to come all together and do a motherfucking class. What do they call it? A cl class action lawsuit or something like that. When when we come all together and sue you. I ain't giving you no money. I ain't going to do your OnlyFans. But a lot of YouTubers been exposing the fact that. Your only fan pictures are old, girl. I'm talking 1990s old. So I don't see why she wouldn't be able to get, you know, uh, a man who's also part of the 10% we're talking about $100,000 or She don't believe that statement either. 
because you live in a freaking motel with your mama and your adult daughter and your toddler son. And you're going to try to make somebody feel bad if they don't know how to make 300. The only person making $300 a day that's not popular online is a hoe. I'm just going to keep it real. What? Three Johns. You done made $300. Three dicks. You done made $300. Stop shaming people because they don't know enough people to scam to be able to make it to the next motel or make it to be able to go back to the mother freaking front desk to book another room. Everybody ain't hoeing. And how are you an influencer with nine people watching? Huh? It was eight for the longest. It was eight people watching you for almost three minutes. It's something that you just have to want to do. Okay? It's it's something, she something she didn't believe that statement. You just have to want to make $300 a day. If, like, she really tried to shame people right there for not making 300 Most people that work a, a legitimate job don't make $300 a day. You got to have, like, um. I'm not going to say you got to have, like, a master's degree or something like that. But you got to be making what, like, I did date a, a guy that, that made $33 an hour before. So... He he's four or five hundred dollars a day, but that's rare. Most people don't even make more than maybe twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars an hour. And keep in mind, I'm in Texas. The minimum wage in Dallas is seven dollars and twenty five cents, bro. Somebody else was telling me it's way higher in Cali, but I understand the cost of living is higher too. Take the time to figure out, and a lot of people just feel like they don't have time to sit down and. Make up sources of income or create businesses. Some people are just not creative in that way. Okay. Sorry. I don't know if it's the spirit of the Lord or what, but I feel like you're not a graphic designer. And she's talking about, oh, I code apps. Where are your apps at? I show people my apps. Where are yours? Hmm. And I also, I have folks from Pakistan helping me. You know, them little smart ones that know I do all that coding. I'm not on here lying, acting like I do all this stuff by myself. I'm mainly the idea. And they help me bring it to life. You on here talking about you know how to code. How you know how to code when you're out there shivering in the cold and ain't got no money? Somebody make that make sense. So $100,000 is not a lot of money. To the average and she always trying to make it seem like, oh, a little money ain't a lot. Like when people got their stimulus checks, she was talking about, why are people running around twelve hundred dollars? Twelve hundred dollars ain't nothing. If you were out here really struggling, twelve hundred dollars is something. Stop trying to make it look like, girl. I don't. She ain't no cold either, cause you need you need brain cells and all that weave on her head is crushing brain cells. You got to be extra ultra smart to be a cold. No, and you got crazy eyes. I, I just I don't like you. Like <laughs> I don't. Am I a hater? I probably am. But hey, know what though? Being in my mid forties, trying to trap a guy so I get pregnant, leading a bad example for my daughter by, you know, having her endorse endorse a freaking fake suicide scam, chasing men and living a swingers lifestyle and lying, acting like I'm a graphic designer. Or, you know, Jack and other people, single mom websites. What the, what am I supposed to be hating on? I just, I don't like you. A lot of black people own a lot of businesses that don't make no profit. That's not a business. That's a hobby. Understand that. It's a hobby. Receptionist, you still get your bread. If you need to go out there and be a, a prostitute, that's what you want to do, because that's all you know how to do. Mama, go out there and do your thing. 
A woman. Let me see how many minutes in so I can just tell y'all 15 minutes in on the coming. A woman with a mu- with a daughter in a predominantly woman female fan base just said if you are a prostitute go out there and get yours i never had no respect for her to begin with but definitely lost all respect after that like it's it's negative 300 now did y'all hear this bull crap she worse for the generation than the wet pussy song wop she need to stop Uh, but they also love a woman that ain't bringing them STDs home. That's why they F around with the ones they don't really care about. And they bring the ones they really care about to mama and they marry them. Like, I understand you trying to be a bootleg motivational speaker. You know, a Dollar General. No, no. Because Dollar General still got some high priced items. You are a Dollar Tree motivational speaker because you know the ones that say everything in here is a dollar you are a dollar they should just put you right there on the shelf because i understand trying to inspire people but baby no ma'am it's telling encouraging women to be a prostitute if that's what they do they have programs whole programs 501c3s create to help to get women off the street and here you are a woman saying do you think girl What's the damn damn distress? Okay. Then again you can't even do your own hair so i don't expect you to be able to do your thing that's all right i'm not i'm not telling you to not require something from me like just because i can sit here and i can buy my own birkin bag doesn't mean i don't want my man to take me to cover I hate when she does that. Because I can buy my own diamond ring doesn't mean that I don't want a man that's going to buy me a tennis person. You understand? You, as a woman, have to go out there and find your equal. Find your match. If you make six figures, then go out there and find a man that makes six figures if that's what you want. But what I, I do want women to understand is that they never. You know, you have to be very undesirable to need her as a woman to help a man want you because men will sleep with anything as long as they got a hole so what the freak if you really got to be bottom of the barrel type female if you that has a vagina which makes you mother freaking valuable <laughs> and needs coaching on how to attract a man look now she only got seven people watching it's ridiculous what was it um didn't Jesus have more wise men following? Not wise men. <laughs> Disciples. While you run around, you know what I'm saying, chasing dusties with gold, frankincense, and myrrh, rewana. Yeah, that's you. Jesus had more disciples than you got people watching you. That's a darn shame. And then they didn't even have Wi-Fi back in his day. Well, every day been his day because, you know, he been alive like that. But you know what I'm saying. He was living up in where they ain't had nothing. Comcast, nothing. It was just boring. All you had was dirt and air to play with in your imagination. Ugh. Can't stand this. Thing. Should lower their standards. And I fell victim to lower my standards because I had a whole bunch of men sitting here telling me, listen. You fell victim to lowering your standards. No, the men fell victim to you trying to trap them to get a baby, which is exactly what you did. And then you trying to act like, oh, you Buddhist and you don't like bacon, but your mama got you stuck on bacon and you thick. You say you thick because you are 190 pounds and you're five feet tall. I'm five, eight. And when I got up to 190, I think I was a chunky looking. So if you are five foot even at 190, you sitting around looking like Humpty Dumpty, one of them little walking, talking, P 
peanut M&M's, Grimace, shaped like three boiled eggs, something like that. Two things. Number one, you're not qualified enough, okay? You're a single mother. You need to go dumpster dive, okay? Because no man is going to want to be with you, all right? That's, that's bullshit number one. Okay. No bullshit number one is how you got in your name on Instagram the real Sansa Ray as if you famous and somebody would try to fake and be you. Like you ain't even popular enough for somebody to want to imitate you. That's why you ain't got a blue check, the real Sansa Ray. Okay. Number two. Your hair ain't real. You ain't nothing else real in your life. So what the freak? Are some good men out there who are blue collar workers, who are average, who don't make a lot of money, who are, you know? I'm just, I don't know, y'all. I'm just aggravated because it's like I see a lot of women on YouTube trying to hustle men like this. I don't like it. Y'all talk about oh, you need to get you a six figure man, or you need to get you a eight figure man, or you need to da 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 da. You need to date multiple men, and you know, say so you got to have options. All this other materialistic stuff that don't matter when if we just follow our hearts and follow God with who we're supposed to be with and plus that should not be the only determining factor is how much a man makes bruh but then turn around and say I don't want to date a man just because he got six figures I don't need him you need to be ind independent you need to make $300 a day so why are you in why are you oh my god I don't know. The type of man that would be good for you, even though he doesn't make all of the things on your list. Because I used to have this long list. I used to have this long list of things that I was not about to put up with. I had these standards and requirements. Now, I have a question. Have your hair ever been long? Longer than your list? Standards and requirements? Why didn't you require your man to have an apartment or a house for y'all to live in? Instead of living in your car and in a motel and washing your butt at the Walmart. That's a whole bath. If your whole body ain't in water with soap, that's a whole bath. I wasn't going to date divorce men. Number two, I wasn't going to date married men. Number three, I wasn't going to date dudes that had trades. I wasn't going to date a dude that had a, a boost, boost mobile phone. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't. Baby, don't do it. Don't do it to the boost. Where you at? Don't do it to the boost. Because we thought you was dead in hell. Where are you at for five months? Don't do it to boost mobile. You did that to boost your subscribers faking your death. Don't do it. Well, God, dog, you ain't gonna handle man. <laughs> God, dog. I'm not gonna say, oh, you can't have standards because you a single mother, but God, dog. Ain't gonna be no man left. <laughs> If that's all on your list of what you're not going to tolerate, deal breakers. I had like this big list. He must have, must have a college degree, have his own car, have his own home. These are all things that I wanted in a man because these are all You don't have your own car or your own home. Or you didn't have your own car for the longest. You still don't have your own home. I never had nobody make six figures that live in a regular motel. Not a hotel, a motel. Make that make sense. You know what? I said that before too. I want the guy that I make are married to make more money than me. And I seriously had a conversation with my sister's best friend about this. And then she told me in confidence, I make more than my man. They met online. Guess what? Eight years later, they're still together. It's been almost 10 years. You have to be mature. You have to change the way you think sometimes. Stop expecting different results if you're doing the same thing. What they say, that's the definition of insanity. Speaking of insanity, I believe that's a fitness program as well. Sunspray, maybe you should get on that and you won't have to post 90s pictures on your OnlyFans. No, take responsibility. That man, you knew that man was married. 
and you knew he told you he didn't want a baby. And that's why you have a son with no father. Not because you listened to a lady tell you to lower your standards. It's because you opened your legs. That's why. She got that crazy look. She got that crazy, you know, if I can't have you, nobody can type look. And no, I'll punch you directly in your throat. If I ever run into you, you getting on sight for lying and playing with my emotions and we thought you was dead. I'm a judo chop you directly in your neck. I just don't like taking advice from a failure. I guess you can motivate me to do the exact opposite of what... Like, you remember when people were trying to get on Steve Harvey when he was trying to help women? Why well, you been married five times. But he's currently in a successful marriage. This thing ain't never been married and don't believe in marriage. How you gonna... Listen, it's hard enough to try to keep a man right when you're dating him or he your fiance, but this thing don't even believe in a ring. So men already want to act like y'all not really dating, really together. The only thing that really makes it real for them is a ring nine times out of 10. Cause dating, they think that means you can date multiple people. They go from, Single to marry. That's why I hate when people say that. I ain't gonna ring him. How do you go from single to marry? You have to be monogamous at some point in order to get to marriage. Like taking this woman's advice, you ain't gonna never find no decent man. Rich people or rich men operate is gone. Men don't operate like that anymore. We're talking about and stop speaking for men. You are not a man. I know you're built like one and you got a strong throat like one, but you are not a man. Stop. I'll take advice from Steve Harvey because he's a man before I take it from you. An outdated version of what a wealthy man is wanting. Back in the day, wealthy men only wanted women. And stop teaching. Why do we have as women to need men to validate us? Why is it the goal to have a man and not a bag? Get your money. Build your life. Grow your hair, for Christ's sakes. Why is the ultimate goal to catch a man? Just be happy. If it happens, it happens. But y'all know when you want something too much, it don't come. And then when you chilling, it pop up. Decorate. Be pretty. Clean out. You know, like your STDs and your herpes around your motherfucking lips. Sounds right. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Perfect screenshot, bro. You know what? Y'all not gonna even play with me, huh? Hold on, y'all, because I'm petty. Y'all can take the time right now while we editing this picture, while we're editing this picture. I'm gonna cut out the fact that you only got seven people watching you. I'm not gonna be petty to like the video. Know what I'm saying? I'm not going to cut them titties out, too, because I ain't trying to see that. Okay, there we go. If I don't like you, nothing on your body is attractive to me. Do the dishes, do the laundry, because back then those are things that women were only allowed to do. We couldn't do stuff like vote, go to school to be a lawyer, all these list of things. As women, and people forget this. People forget yeah, you could. You could try. You can get that eat the cake anime reaction. Eat the cake anime. <laughs> Well, now I know a lot of times it was against the law. <laughs> so we needed the, you know, the feminists and all that. Come through. Come through, Susan B. Anthony. Things that women weren't allowed to do that men were. And this is far as generating income, jobs. They're jobs that we have now as women that we didn't have before. Listen, 
you just promoted prostitution, which is the world's, what do they say, the oldest profession or whatever, occupation, whatever. Mm-hmm. So women have always had pussies. So why aren't you promoting prostitution? Listen, what you just did when you promoted and encouraged women to be prostitutes was just as worse to me when you faked your suicide. Like you could have faked being dead, which still would have been low down. But to fake suicide, you could have just said you died from a freaking rotten weave on top of your head, some, you know, larva and planted themselves in your skull, whatever. Or, you know, one of your implants busted. I don't know what they were. But something believable. Diabetes. But so many people struggle with suicidal thoughts. And you want to pick suicide? You want to play with that? And then when somebody call you out on it, oh, you believe in rumors? You want to type a whole book that ain't nobody going to read. That's how you know when somebody lying, when they deflect and type a whole book. You know, good and doggone well, your daughter, you can't make me believe that you didn't know that she posted that because she was in on it too, so she's just as bad as you. Because no one took us serious as women. They didn't feel like we were strong enough, we smart enough. Those days are over, okay? Women could go out there and get their own bread, and a lot of men who are generating income right now are aware of that. Okay, now I had a man come into my comment section. Back to what I was saying <laughs> before I got hooked. I had a man come into my comment section after I explained. <gasps> You got 10 people watching. What? Back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot hoes all on me. You better get it. 10 whole people get it. Being a single mother, there are still men that try to get in all day every day. Wealthy men, broke men. Tall men, short men. Light-skinned men, dark-skinned men. All types of men try to get in me all day, every day. And so this guy comes into my comment section. And yeah, they try to get in your car because you're an Uber driver. You have to know the difference between when a man wants to have sex with you, shooting his shot to have sex with you, versus a man who is shooting his shot because he wants to marry you. Now, I'm 40 years old. I know the difference. Okay? We're not talking to a, a woman who is in her early 20s that's, you know, that has sawdust for brains. We're talking about a woman who is 40. Okay, has a 20 year old, a two year old, a OnlyFans page, a YouTube following. Listen, been there, done that. I get it. We're talking about a woman who is poly, a woman who is bisexual. I get it. I know what a man wants me for sex versus wanting to marry me. I've been engaged eight times. Oh my God. Are you trying? You're just, just, just like if if deal breaker was a person is you. I'm everything come out your mouth wrong. Eight. That's a lot. And guess who's been walking away from those engagements? Me. <laughs> no, no. I should have known. You're gonna make it seem like you're the reason why. Not that. The men saw you were crazy and ran for the hills. That ain't why, huh? Okay, this is what the, let me tell you something. Forty opened up my mind about who Sansa Ray is. All right, Sansa Ray has a commitment issue. This is what I spoke about at the beginning. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all about this. I have a commitment issue, and let me explain why I have a commitment issue. Because for the most part, most of the men that try to get at me. This is bullcrap because you spent years bashing priests online for not wanting to be with you to have a family for y'all son you chase that man and many other men so stop you would kill to have a man stay by you and then the dude said your pussy stank and you agree that your pussy stank because you said your pussy stank because you were pregnant girl like like i said if deal breaker was a person might want no stank puss and you bro so I've got to give hope. I'm not attracted to. And it isn't because of what people would think. It's not like superficial or shallow reasons. It's just, I don't like some of the things they do. Like, it could be, number one, they acting too desperate or thirsty 
And I know when they're doing that, it has something to do with my physical appearance. Number two, they might. <sighs> Sounds right. You not cute without makeup. I am. If you cannot come on camera and be plain faced and still be cute, stop it. I cannot be educated in the way that I need them to be educated because I want to have intellectual conversation. I have to be able to have a conversation with someone who's going to teach me something. I love having conversations with people that can talk to me about theology, spirituality, metaphysics, quantum physics, talk to me about business, talk to me about investment, something like that. Most of the men that are trying to get at me do not know how to have those kinds of conversations. And, and let's just take God out of the equation for a moment. Just for a moment, okay, let's take God out of the equation. Just talking about business, home ownership, teaching me something I don't already know something about. Where these men at? That's what, that's what I'm looking for. So when, when men are always trying to sit up here and get at me all day, the first thing I'm trying to figure out is can I have a friendship with this person? If I got in a relationship with this person, would I like them? Would I actually like being around them? That's the, that's the one thing. Okay, and then number two. No, was that two? Or, or oh my god! <laughs> I factor in how they treat the women in their past, and the reason why I factor that in is because if the, in the event that me and this guy no longer are together, will he still consider being my friend? Will he tarnish my name in conversation? What is he going to do when our relationship is over? You really can't determine how you're going to be treated based on how he treated his ex because you don't know the circumstances surrounding that. She could have been horrible towards him, which made him react to her like that. These are things that I'm factoring in beforehand, and I didn't factor in all of this stuff when I met my son's father. That's why I can, I can tell women, these are things that you need to do. Start asking them them hard questions. If they don't want to answer those hard questions, then I'm going to need for you to stop talking to them. It's the same thing with men. Men, if you're asking a woman questions and she can't even formulate a sentence to be able to... Some of y'all can't even get to the boyfriend, girlfriend, fiancé stage because y'all coming on too strong, bro. Tone it down. When you first meet a man on the first day, he not trying to hear... Well, what you where you see yourself five years? This ain't an interview, ho. You want to have kids with? It? Just chill. Y'all just be trying to clank clank when y'all first meet the guy. Let him get him to the stages of wanting to be with you, if he wants to be with you. Like, don't force it. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Answer it. These are the type of women that you don't need to, to deal with at all. I am not expecting men to dumpster dive. You understand? I'm not expecting men to lower their standards to get a woman. But when it comes to conversations about money and family and your legacy and children and stuff like this, these are conversations that you need to have with women before you sleep with them. Because when you sleep with them, even if you... So, Ray, how does it feel to know that you essentially give men permission to cheat with the poly lifestyle and you try to appear to be a pick me and I'm so cool and and I want to talk about business and I'll let you I'll even have sex with you. I'm to the swing your lifestyle and you still can't find a man. You've lowered all your standards, but then at the same time want to make it seem like you raised all your standards too and still can't keep a man and still got a dry scalp with no hair. Mm. And how your finger bending down that mother freaking low? Might want to get that checked. You have on a condom. You can easily get something like some type of disease that a condom doesn't prevent you from. A pregnancy can happen accidentally or you get stuck in the moment and take the condom off. And then later on, a pregnancy might happen. Don't be the man that be like, oh... I got her pregnant by accident. No, you made a conscious decision to have sex with this woman. Don't be the guy. Mm -hmm. Just like you made a conscious decision to have sex after Priest told you he didn't want a baby. Then you want to blame and beat him over the head and all this other different stuff and act like, okay, yeah, he's supposed to, you know, help you with the kid, but don't act surprised that he's not thrilled about it when he told you up front. I don't want.
want no kid with you. That abandons your responsibility simply because of a night of passion. You have to think about this and protect your body and your sperm. You feel what I'm saying? Okay? So. <laughs> Back to this dude. This dude still texting me to try to convince me of all the stuff he quote unquote bought. I'm like, okay, I'm going to need some receipts, homie. If you're watching this live stream, you claim you bought all of this stuff for my son, right? And I'm, I'm my pimp game strong. <laughs> I'm gonna need for you to show me some receipts of some stuff that you ever bought me, okay? All right. Why are men required to spend money on women from day one, but they bring nothing to the table? Don't even want to go half on dates. They don't want to buy food sometimes. They don't want to give up pussy. But he's supposed to give up his wallet from day one. But that's another video. And I'm not, like I said, encouraging prostitution like this hoe. All I'm saying is don't put requirements on men. And then don't want to want to get mad if he wants something in return. That's all I'm saying. Should be no requirements. It should be. Let's see how it goes. Go with the flow and don't lead these men on. A lot of women like this thing will make it seem like they're going to have sex just to get a free dinner and all the weird stuff. <laughs> so anyway, I know who's bought stuff for my son. And these are people that I talk to all of the time. So oh, you mean the people that bought stuff for your son via the cash app donations you were trying to receive once you killed yourself? Sunsaray, I'll be back. Don't forget it.